uh, it's been a year. Why don't we do a second? Why don't we do chapter two? I don't want to start at the prologue for two. I remember the prologue taking a minute. So we'll start off and do the actual chapter two. Well, it's been a little bit. I'm going to have to get reused to this. All right. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation return for their discretion. You will meet a representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Gifford. Okay. So I must be Father Garcia then. That must be Michael Davies. He looks like a fine young lad with a fine young face. He looks less fine. He looks considerably less happy. Exercising you then. And now it is dark. You must remember where you were. No. Why did he take the picture that would prove that he looked terrible? Hmm. That beautiful rotoscope again. Dios mío, what have you done? I have somebody on the pit. I have. You can't hide from God, Evo. You shall drink the wrath of the Almighty. I have the body of a pig. Look at him run. And then the fade out, and then the fade in. It's 2 a.m. Where are your children? Where am I? <sighs> Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind them seems to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good way to remember what you don't realize you have forgotten. If you're in a hurry, hold spacebar or the action button to skip cutscenes. Ah. Ah, me in the woods. I wouldn't put it past them for that to kill me. Oh. Yeah, let's exercise the corpse of the deer. Current investigation being conducted at the Gallup Cemetery at the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. I am the in, in the interim. We ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the earth. I th I'm theoretically an unidentified person. I'm a wandering priest in the middle of the woods. So we'll see. Gravestone, 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 tree, no, grave, 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 none of them. Dearest disciple, verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his, as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the save family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Enter the spirit house. Let's assume it's not save family tomb, mostly because it's kind of silly to be called that. 
Maybe it's called the Save family tomb. But I want that key. Okay. Let's go exercise some spooky, spooky demons. Go down first, because why not? We're going in a rotation. Oh, these are uh, saved before I. I'm gonna walk in and out then. In the interest of making that a little bit more easy on myself, I'm gonna walk in and then walk in and there. That saved it. It surveyed it. Just, uh, just uh, don't have to do that again. Let's exercise the, the scary decapitated corpse head baby thing. Mm. Good. That was worth doing just to cut that time down. Wandering back. I think it readjusted to doing the combat for this. I'm gonna stay away from you. Okay. That was lucky. Okay, so I should try to avoid being in the open if possible. Try to be behind a cloud. There we go. I was like my demons explode into a pile of pixels. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then, my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, Would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of their one of her friends' houses. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. These are now headless. <laughs> I do know bits of this, so... The statue orders a right, up, left, up. From left to right. I won't I won't hide the fact that I have played this game before. I mean, I think the background for people that have actually bought the Steam version would know that cuz the background I think you get for beating the third chapter of John and Father Garcia running over some demons. <laughs> I've been freed, no more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic, no more hiding my bruises and cuts, no more pills and needles, no more getting laughed at and kicked around, they'll never laugh at me again. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge guided by beings of pure darkness with select knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five, first at the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods, and then I will show them my power. skip ab doop bab doop Oh, John's walk cycle. I love his downward walk cycle. It's good. Let's go check over here. Okay. 
can't do neither of those ones. I do like the Grim Reaper carrying a cross as a thing. The obvious skull. What mechanism? Oh, I moved. Hello, friend. No. I'm a man of God, and as such, I will walk with purpose. I remember how tiny these arenas are. These arenas are really small. Yeah. More. More. That's the thing I remember about two more. Because one is pretty straightforward. It's a semi-open world little hoo-ha-ha. -ha. But two is the first one where they like really plow in the story, which I love. Two and three are really good. Three is really long. But being as that is like these... These little sections of, of fighting and exercising the demons are all very, very tight areas. Violator! Violator. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Mm. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she, now she was pregnant. She beckoned toward me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's where I met Gary. They do mention Gary in the first game. Alright, we excise the three. The three people is gone, and I'm just staying in the thing now. Ow. At least I got my key. Now I can open this. It's a big cemetery. You know, quite a large cemetery. Large enough to inhabit, uh, Trents. Is any of you... She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. Confess thy sins. Uh, but, 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 but. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. You're gonna want real food and water. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game. Uh, that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirits of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game, as, game tonight as soon as we get settled in. <laughs> awesome. Dope. So this is the layout of... Um, the church. 
Every time you move, she moves. One room over. Or one room down, or one room to the left, or one room to the right. She's up in the corner. She's back there. And then she kills you. Because you tricked her. I'm trying to remember the actual process of dealing with this the woman. Get the second note. Night three. No, no, the second note. Shouldn't have come here. Tapes missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Nothing in the confessional, but we can go in this side. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeds have you yet to confess? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of contrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. I confess. You get a little bit of the backstory of what happened after the first game. After the canon ending of the first game, where you just kind of leave. Oh yeah, and then you have this silly lady. There we go, night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off of some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought, brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Gear. These are all broke up. Can I get into here? No. No. She's one room up at the moment. She's one room over to the right. I know this room is one room, technically. The pulpit? No. Angel? Broken face thing. A hand coming out of a child of a person's face. Not a child, unless you want to consider that the reference to one. Night two, we're gonna be rich! We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're going to make a fortune selling this to TV stations. But if it's actually scary and haunted, I don't think a TV station would want to run it, if I'm being honest. She just didn't move. She stayed up in that corner. Boo. Something's here. More days. I had to do that poorly. <laughs> I have to walk back over there. She's one room to my left at the moment. Yeah, she's getting further away. Ooh. And then the watch the candles. <laughs> Trying to give you any sort of extra bit of help to figure out the spindly lady game. 
Uh, so she's one room over. She went back one. She's one room up. There we go. Sized the spindle lady. Now we can go down into the cursed haunted cellar of evil. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I descend the staircase knowing full well that she awaits for me. She waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done, I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from the unspeakable things. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. And then theoretically he died. Or that's another person dead, who knows. Here's our funny clock. So it said it doesn't go past 2 o'clock. So 2 o'clock would be the upper right corner and then up. Oh no! More days. So then the two is the the H, right? So you want to go to this. That's the reset. Here, 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 no. Oh, I didn't make it. More. I'm trying to remember how to think through this without There we go. Mother of Demons. Now I'm in the woods again. Crawl out of an outhouse somewhere. Do, 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 do. What saith the three murdered in the latest wave of ritualistic killings? Sterling continued. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Ingles uh, are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in the in a paganistic risk ritual. Pandemonium regnat of the two victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb having been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. 
The arrangement of the bodies in, ritu in a ritualistic pattern as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Uh, Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her, which I didn't do. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging people of Sterling not to mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales, and Inglis because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all. That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies and then you chopped off their heads causing ev because everyone knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill... What cannot be killed, thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou wouldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat, yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium Rignati Satani, and this is Latin. It's nice of Satan to do ASCII art of a cross. Are you? <laughs> Amy's up there! Amy! It's fun to make the noise. Fun to make the noise. Oh, I get to go to the candy tunnel. I'm gonna go to the candy tunnel. I. I. A key. Sight and lip. See this boy? See this thing? That little red pixel. Hmm. Ale star. I really love the soundtrack for Faith. It's really good. Oh, there he goes. really fits and feels the whole thing. Read. When. See. Don't. When you see it, don't move. When I see it, don't move. That's how you deal with the demon. You just don't. You just look at it and go, hmm, "That was interesting. What a nice bit of character development that guy had." Can I follow the blood into the wall? No. But why would I? Ran up here. Splish. Splish splash, I was walking in mud. A long, thin, dark, just terrifying tunnel. Just to exist in. 
it saved. So I'm here. Some I've made it pro progress. Blued, blued on the wool. I'm sorry, God. Please save me. Didn't do, didn't do a lot for you, did he? All the blood on your everything. Ah, a tea. Ah, a flashlight. I mean, here I come. Here I come. Here I come. I'm here, priest. I'm here, priest. Yeah, where? Oh, there you are. And where is here? I can't have them. You get away from me. Oh. I, c I can try to catch you. I can find you. You're in the same spot. You didn't move. Splish splash. I'm walking in blue. Get out of this hole. Chase the funny red man running into the funny red hole in the wall. The flashlight really illuminates all that dead space behind that wall. Dun 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 dun. It's locked. Oh. It's locked. The they hate the light. Anyway. Get, 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 get away, get away, back, back. La 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 la, go, go. Are there more of them in here? There's a wiggly purple man running. Pentagram thing and thing. I can't do whatever that is. I know what it is, but I can't do it anyway. So I got the key, let's go back to the deer. I don't remember what excising the statue does. If I'm being honest. Hello. <gasps> Hi, Garcia. <laughs> Okay. Well, I said yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer, God. There is no thought you could have done. But maybe now her soul is at rest. Let us go. Good. That absolves me of murdering. You're gonna do the full 91st song, okay. Okay, 
your CD will set my defeat darkness. I shall be old I don't want to talk over him reciting, be, reciting the actual 91st song. It's cool. I didn't angle correctly for that. Nope. This is a really cool game to do, like, like exorcism stuff as well, because it's all accurate. I mean, not all of this, like, heavy level cult stuff. I'm sure this doesn't necessarily happen in the sewers outside of some town. This is the actual 91st song, though, so hey. Doing good, not dodging. But. My refuge. True. The Microsoft Sam voice. No. Nope. You need to not be that close to that door. I guess you can be this close to the door because it just means I just have to turn and they'll delete the words. This is going to take a while. Let's see if I cut any of this or if I'm just going to go straight flat. Why you go there? Defending John is a lot of effort. <laughs> Just be near him and just defend him the entire time. Dang it! I think you can do this without John, but it's not good. John. He's the best part. <laughs> John's the best part. Thank you for right there. He got both of us from that. Oh, 
She's loud. The fun part. Uh. Oh my gosh, please. I don't know why dodging something that moves in an upward and downward pattern is so hard. Garcia killing him. There's not a lot I could have done about that, honestly, with where you respond. to bed and I go out sheet my face. The morning breaks. John, I can't do this anymore. I'll always love you back. Molly. You've had a lot of like rough rough stuff happening. To be fair, there's a good reason for it. Can't go in that door. Can't go in the, the I'm not going in there. In the scary door. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for me. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father Garcia. I survived the nightmare. But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My faith is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. <gasps> I'm being followed! Blah! Ending 2, Road to Redemption. I think I got not the good ending because Garcia died. But that 
was chapter two.